Hello there guys, it's me Harry and today, or well, more or less in a couple of days, I'll be showing off my DK Entertainment DD collection combined into different categories. So this first section is all my um, original French DK Audiovisual um, era DVDs. Next up we've got the DK Animation City era when Andy Haywood took over. Then we got the Capital Cities ABC era when DK formed a joint venture with Capital Cities ABC called DK Entertainment LP. The Disney era and the Reindependence era and just some other DVDs sitting there. Oh, and Strawberry Shortcake is just sitting there too because I've already got enough of those. That will be in its own part. So, we're going to start off with Inspector Gadget. I have four DVDs based on that show. They're all from Maximum Entertainment, a company that released um, old EX Jetix Fox Kids shows in the UK from 2004 until 2008. So we have Volume 1, Volume 2, All That Glitters and Pirate Island. So the first DVD was released in 2004 and contains the episodes Monster Lake, Down on the Farm, Gadget at the Circus, Amazon and Health Spa. And here's the disc. Next up, Volume 2, released also in 2004. I'm not going to go with months because um, it will be a bit confusing otherwise. And this has the episodes The Boot, Haunted Castle, Race to the Finish, The Ruby, and A Star is Lost. So episodes 6 to 10. This is actually from a um, double pack, but the packaging is a bit weird and doesn't... and has the Fox Kids logo on the front, which wouldn't be like that otherwise, and has the um, Irish age rating on it. Then we have um, All That Glitters and Pirate Island. This was released in 2005 and this was released in 2008. They both have the same artwork from of Inspector Gadget on there. This has the episodes All That Glitters, Movie Set and Amusement Park. Here's the disc. Whilst this one, which I said was released in 2008, has the episodes... It's... Well, actually, the episodes are displayed on in there. He's Art Heast, Volcano Island, Pirate Island, Imploration, and The Pharaoh's Curse. So overall, 18 episodes were released in the UK. Next up, the next show is The Littles. Both of these DVDs are from the United States. So first one is The Littles Christmas Special, released in 2003 by Sterling Entertainment. And despite the fact it's a Christmas DVD, there's no Christmas episode on there at all. It has the episodes A Present for Grandpa Little, Grandpa Little I mean, Spirits of the Night, The Little Girl Who Could, and the bonus episode The Little Scouts, and it advertises other releases on the back. Yeah, this is not a Christmas DVD despite the packaging saying so. Next up is The Littles, the complete unedited series containing all 29 episodes on five DVDs. This was released by Shimor Entertainment in 2007 under license from Shout Factory. So it has all 29 episodes as well as special features. Liberty and the Littles, the special movie. Interview with Mark Scott Zachary, who wrote one of the episodes of season three. Little Ideas for Big People short videos. Visual History of the Deep logo. What Would the Little Use trivia game. Side by side storyboard comparison. Printable Writer's Bible, Printable Pilot Episode Outline, and Printable Episode Storyboard. So you get some DVD-ROM features in there as well. So it has, um, it comes with five, two, three cases. So disc one has Beware of Hunter, Lost City of the Littles, The Big Scare, Lights, Camera Littles, Spirits of the Night, The Little Winner, A Big Cure for a Little Illness, and The Rats Are Coming, The Rats Are Coming. Disc 2 has a, The Little Fairy Tale, Prescription for Disaster, The Little Scouts, A Little Gold, A Lot of Trouble, and Dinky's Doomsday Pizza, and then it goes on to Season 2. Looking for Grandma pa, Ma Little, Every Little Vote Counts, The Forest Littles. And here are the discs. Disc 3 has four episodes. The Little Halloween, The Little Babysitters, A Little Rock, rock and Roll, and a lit The Little Amazon Queen. Whilst Disc 4 has The Little Girl Who Would, and it begins on with the um, Season 3 episodes. 
Deadly Jewels, The Wrong Stuff, When Irish Eyes Are Smiling. And lastly, with Disc 5, you get Ben Binky for The Birds, Twins, to the second and a little drunk. So you get all 20 and I said the... Here come the Littles movies not on DVD though. On this DVD pack. It, it's included in the Mill Creek release though. Also as a bonus feature. Next up, Rainbow Bright. And I and the, and these UK DVDs have all 13 episodes on there. Excluding the pilot. So volume 1 was, was released in 2004. It includes Beginning of Rainbow Land, Part 1 and 2, Peril in the Pits, and Mighty Monish Smirk Menace, Part 1 and 2. Here's the disc. Nothing much to say about it. Volume 2 was also released in 2004. as the episodes Mom, How A Horse of a Different Colour, Queen of the Sprites, and Star Sprinkled. And Chasing Rainbows was released in 2005 and concludes the series with Chasing Rainbows, Rainbow Knight, Murky's Comet, and Invasion of Rainbow Land. The episodes are not in their production order or their airing order at all. They're in a random order for some reason. Because the, the series did um, take a long time to complete despite only having 13 episodes made. Next up is Heathcliff. And I have six DVDs based on the show. We've got UK DVDs above and below. I have some US ones. So let's look at the UK ones first. So we have Heathcliff Volume 1, released in 2004 by Maximum Entertainment, once again. And this has um, five episodes with ten segments altogether. The Great Pacini and Kitty Cat Kennels, Chancey's Great Escape and Carnival Capers, The Mad Dog Catcher and Circus Burkus, Rebel without a claw and the farming life ain't for me, and Heathcliff's middle name and wishful thinking. So you get Heathcliff first and then the calistrophic cats second. Next up, Heathcliff King of the Beasts, released in 2005 and was later reissued. So this has um, three episodes with six segments. King of the Beasts and Cat Can Do, Smoke Gets My Eyes and Much Ado About Bedding, and City Slicker Cat and House of the Future. And it advertises other releases on the back, well, inside the pamphlet. And then we have Cats Angels released in 2008. Oh, and this has the episode Spike's Cousin and for the Birds, Heathcliff's Pet and Swamp Fever, Teed Off and Monstro vs. Wolfhound, Say Cheese and Cats Angels, and Meow Meow Island Denying Cats. So. Basically, they named this DVD after an already existing Calistrophic Cats episode rather than a Heathcliff episode. How weird is that? And then next up, we have the US DVDs I own. Fish Tales, released in 2000. These were both released in 2004 by Sterling Entertainment. And this has the Heathcliff segments. The Great Tuna Caper, Sealand Mania, Claws, Mia Mau Island, Heathcliff's Pet and Something Fishy. And the special bonus features are In Search of Cat Lantis, Young Cat with a Horn, and Big Swipe. The latter two are uh, exclusive to the DVD. And then here's the disc. This was reissued in 2007 alongside the, I forgot to say, here come the um, Little's Christmas special. Next up, Heathcliff Up Terror of the Neighbourhood also from the same company and released on the same day. This has the episodes The Gang's All Here, A Piece of the Rock, Super Mac Menace, Soapbox Starby, Mad Dog Catcher and Cat Burglar Heathcliff, with bonus episodes from Calistrophic Cats, Cats Angels, De Debente Ball and Hector's Takeover. So Cats Angels is on the VHS but the other two are not, like with the pre what I said about the previous set. And then lastly in the Heathcliff selection is The Best of Heathcliff, released in 2008 by Encircle Entertainment. This has the episodes In the Beginning, Nightmare in Beverly Hills, Feel and Good, Heathcliff's Mum and Cat Day Afternoon, whilst the Calistrophic Cats episodes are Cat Olympic Cats, The Cat and the Iron Mask, Off-Road Racer, Hockey Pucks and Hector Protector, which are all bonus episodes. And it advertises other 
Encircle Deek DVDs on the inside of the pamphlet. Next up is Here Come the Littles. I put this separately, and the same goes with Heathcliff the movie, because they're technically their own thing. This was released in 2004 by Sterling Entertainment, and it has the feature-length movie itself, and that's it. There's nothing else on there other than the movie and a few trailers. Nothing much to say about this one. Next up are the Care Bears. As you may know, I already love the Care Bears itself, but of course I have these DVDs as well, because, of course, these were all... Th these were released in 2004, this was released in 2005, and this was released, I think, 2005 or 2007, I don't know when. So technically, all these DVDs were released by Maximum. So the first um, one has um, Care Bears Battle of the Freeze Machine and Care Bears in the Land Without Feelings, two unrelated specials to the Deke series, as well as three episodes, Camp Birthday, Grace's Split Decision and The Last Slab, and it doesn't list down the last one. I've forgotten what that one was. And here's the inside of the case. Sometimes these maximum DDs might not be real, might not be um, perfect, if you know what I mean. Next up is Volume 2. And this has the episodes... Lucky Charm, Soapbox Derby, Forest of Misfortune, Magic Mirror, Daydreams and Runaway. So you get three episodes on this one as well. Or is it four episodes? I'm not too sure. I think it's four you can actually get on this DVD. And as I said, they don't always get it right with these um, DVDs. Because, yeah, you get the idea. And there's one of two. The Magic Shop. And this has the episodes Magic Shop, Mayor for a Day, The Night the Spars Went Out, Concrete Rain, Dry Spell, and Drab City. So you get three episodes on this one. And this is a later reissue because it's got an because it's got some new reissues of other um Jetix DVDs in there. And lastly, the girl who cried wolf. Released in 2005, I think, or 2007. It says 2005, so I'll go with that. Comes with Wedding Bells, The Old Man and Lighthouse, The Cloud Worm, The Girl Who Cried Wolf, and Care Bears Battle, The Freeze Machine. The special's on there twice, likely for the fact that it's filler or something. Next up is Mask. So here's Volume 1, released in 2004 by Maximum Entertainment, and it has the episodes The Death Stone, The Star Charlotte, The Book of Power, Highway to Terror, and Video Venom. And then eventually in 2007, Maximum released Mask Volume 1, which has the first 38 episodes of the show on four DVDs. It lists down all the episodes, but I'm not going to um, say them all because it's a bit... It will just make this video go too long. You have episodes 1 to 10 on disc 1, 11 to 20 on disc 2, 21 to 30 on disc 3, and 41 to 38 on disc 4. And then in 2009, Lace DVD released the second volume, which obviously... Um, Maximum was going to release, but because Jeffix Europe was purchased by Disney, they, it was cancelled and eventually it was released under Cookie Jar's name. And this has the final 27 episodes of Season 1, as well as the Racing Series, aka Series 2. And you get four DVDs with this. It says Series 2 on all of them, but technically only, I think, this disc and this disc have the um, racing episodes on. Next up, Jason the Wheeled Warriors. I have two DVDs of that show. Escape from the Garden of Evil, released in 2003 by Sterling Entertainment. This has the episodes Escape from the Garden, The Vase of Zion, Steel Against Shadow, and Flora, Fauna, and the Monster Mines. The top three were the first three episodes made. And that was just an extra episode on for the DVD release. And then next up is the Shout Factory um, box set released by Shout Factory in 2008. 
And this has the first 33 episodes of the show. And you also get the some concept art on the discs as well as bonus DVD ROM footage. Which, well, bonus DVD ROM stuff, which is the Escape from the Garden script and the Steel Against Shadow script. So on, so on the first disc, you get Escape from the Garden of Evil, Bars of Sung, Steel Against Shadow, Silver Crusaders, Ghost Ship, Flora, Porno, and Monster Mines, Fire and Ice, Space Outlaws, and Future of the Future. Disc 2 has Underwater, Frostwell, Critical Mass, The Purple Tomb, Hookline, and Stinker, Bloodstone, and the Slaves of Alba Baron and the Hunt. And then here are the discs. They, they, these holders are, do are a bit loose, so they do come off really easily. So you get about over three hours of um, Jason the World Warriors on each disc. And on this one, on disc three, you get Block Raid Runners, The Sleeping Princess, Deadly Reunion, Sky Kingdom, Quest into Shadow, Unexpected Trouble, Bounty Hunters, and Double Deception. In disc 4 you get Gate World, Space Thief, Moon Magic, Affair of Honor, Doom Flower, The Stallions of Sandstein, Brain Trust, and Lightning Strikes Twice. And you get disc 3 and 4 in there. Next up are the real Ghostbusters, in which I have two DVDs of that. Adventures in Slime and Space and Sea Fry, both released in 2004 by Universal Pictures UK, under license from Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment. So yeah, it has Columbia TriStar logos everywhere, but technically these were released, well, distributed through Universal. So Adventures in Slime and Space has the, that episode itself, Ghost Busted, Knock Knock, and Linkman's Ghost Repellers. And here's the disc. Well, Steve Wright has the episodes The Spirit of Aunt Lois, Beneath the Streets, Steve Wright, and Bargain Knock and Roll. that one done. And lastly in this video we have Dennis the Menace. The US Dennis, not the UK one. I have two of the Max Menace DVDs and one singular DVD from 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. So these were released by Maximum in 2004. I don't have the third volume that was released in 2008 though, I don't know where. Can't find that one for a good price. So anyways, this DVD has the episodes so Long Old Paint, Trembly Assembly, Private Eye, Visitor for an Outer Space, Train Up Boy and Genie Madness, Cheer Up, Ghost Blasters and The Life You've Saved, Shark Treatment, Jungle Bungle and Racetrack Menace, and All the President's Menace, The Love Robot and Wilson the Menace. So yep, you get five grand old episodes full of mischief and Mr. Wilson torture. Force Volume 2 has episodes Fishing for Trouble, Future Fortune and Time Bomb, Sparblars, Whale of a Tail and Disaster on the Green, Here Kitty, Circus Burkus and the Monster of Mudfield Flats, Price of Stardoom, Space Menace and the Magic Flute, Dennis's Yard Sale, the bon Abominable Snow Menace and It Came from the Planet Dennis. And now here comes Trouble Trouble Everywhere, released in, in 2008 by 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment. It doesn't display the episodes on the packaging though. But it comes with seven episodes. And there we are. That's part one of this collection done. So in the next part, I'll be showing you off the um, Geek Animation City era. So anyways, thanks for watching and bye for now.